You saw John Cena? What, as in, you can't see me? <laughs> what is that? It's so orange. That is a pleasant surprise. No other than Mr. Lewis Capaldi himself oh, yeah. was in Starbucks. 150 for a little, it better be made of like pumpkin gold or something. Reese's, if you're watching this, we're not happy. Louise. Good morning guys. Welcome to the video. Matt and Emma here. And for today's video we are having a pumpkin filled cheat day. We are on the search, on the hunt for some kind of epic pumpkin flavoured spice treats. Treats really. All things pumpkin. Originally we planned to do eating pumpkin for 24 hours which is probably going to be like all over YouTube. Like everything right now is going to be pumpkin, Halloween so we're there with you. We've managed to base ourselves in like an area where we can walk to each place and find like all different kinds of treats. It's actually insane how many different pumpkin flavored snacks are within like a two mile radius. Yeah, yeah. Like it's crazy. Uh, if you wonder where that area is, it's Soho in London. Yeah, Matt's not actually the biggest fan of pumpkin. Yeah, pumpkin's not up there on my top 10, I'm not gonna lie. So, I mean, I'm gonna, I'm interested by today. Yeah. You know, just gonna start how we start most of our videos. Guess. Donuts. <laughs> just around the corner from Donut Time, uh, and they have released a brand new pumpkin donut. Pumpkin spice. Pumpkin spice. My bad. Spice up your life. Spice up donut. Your life. It's our first stop for today, and we are right around the corner. So, let's go. Let's go. Pumpkin spice dough filled with vanilla bean custard, covered in pumpkin spice glaze, topped with a cream drizzle and sprinkles. Well, we asked for pumpkin. Still sounds good. Right, let's go in. They look insane. Let's do it. David. David Hassel Biscoff. Can we get two of the pumpkin ones, please, mate? Yeah. Thank you so much. Awesome. See you Thanks, man. Got it. Donut time. He was so nice in there, wasn't he? Yeah, he was. He was listening to some old jams. Everyone that serves donuts seems to be happy. <laughs> Open this bad boy up. It's quite a hefty donut. They smell good. They smell sweet and spicy. We have come back to the bench that we found during our London cheat day, which would have come out a few weeks ago when we came here with Spencer. This is a donut bench. This is our donut bench. This is where we had cross tarn donuts in a previous video. Holy moly. It's when's heavy. The, when's the last time we had a donut time? Donut. A long time. I think it was probably last year. Oh my goodness, this is heavy. Yeah, it's definitely filled with <gasps> buttcream. Okay. Definitely. I feel like we, whenever we say something's big, we always like straight away go to compare it to our head. I know, it's always like, whoa. Should we just dig right in? Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Mm. Oh wow. Did you get filling? Yeah. Oh, the feeling is banging. It tastes like a carrot cake donut almost. Mm. Oh. You get it? Mm. Do you know what I mean? It tastes like carrot cake a bit. That is a pleasant surprise. Yeah. Because I was not sure how much I was going to like this. But the donut itself, oh, I'm just going to go out and say it. Mm. The donuts themselves, I'll wait for the loud truck to pass. I know what you're gonna say, and I agree. Do you know what I'm gonna say? Yeah. What am I gonna say? Donuts themselves are better than cross down. 100%. They're so fluffy. It's soft. Gonna go. Oh. Oh, that middle is just custard. Mm. That's what they said, isn't it? Like a bean custard. Mm. Wow. Yeah, donuts banging. Mm. This is a good donut. I'm really enjoying this. Yeah? Mm. Good. I'm, I still have my reservations about pumpkin spiced, mm. but that's a good donut. We're going to come to London with my sister and we'll get some donut time donuts. The lotus one, Ooh. cookie dough, jammy dodger. Yeah. Oh, usually if there's a plant-based or vegan option, I will go for that one. We've got loads of vegan, haven't we? We've got they? tons of yeah. options there. It's so hard to eat one donut, one donut each. 
we're used to like masses, so at least two or three donuts. It's so tempting to just go get more. Must not buy more donuts. But the donuts. Biscoff one. I know. Where to next? We're going to Starbucks and we're going for the pumpkin spice latte. Or PSL, as people pumpkin say. Space, pumpkin space. Pumpkin space. Jeez. I think what we should do is find a Starbucks that's nice and warm. Let's sit inside. Sit inside. You ready for that now? Yeah. Oh, you've got a donut in your face. Have I? No. Where is it? You've got some on your cheek. Have you done that? You've got oh, custard yeah. on your cheek. And you've got a little bit. Yeah. There's quite a lot of custard in there, to be fair. Do you reckon you're ready for that straight away? The cookie and the yeah, we're PSL or whatever? Yeah, we're whatever option. I don't know. Let's do it. Let's do it. Right, right. we're going. We're going to find a Starbucks. Do you want to pop the lid? Pop it. Oh, that looks nice, right? The pumpkin range. What are you going to try first? The warm one. So we got the pumpkin spice latte, the vegan one with vegan cream, and then exactly the same in the frappuccino. And then a cookie. Moustache. Just cream that was. What's the cream? Vegan cream. Do you like it? Yeah, it's nice. Again, I probably wouldn't pick it all year round, but... It's so strong, isn't it? Yeah. It's so strong. It's proper cinnamony. It's just cream, isn't it? It's really weird because my first thing on my mouth was the, the cold cream. Yeah. That's nice though. It's alright, isn't it? It's a really warm drink. Like it's a, autumnal. Yeah. It's nice. It's nice. You sound so surprised. I am surprised, most of you. Right, frappuccino time? Yeah, go on. Go on, you try it. Completely different. Stop it. Honestly, not the same at all. Really? It's way less subtle, though. way more subtle. Oh, really? Yeah. Is nice. it more milk? Oh, I really like that. Oh, good. Like that. Go on, I'll try it. Oh, that is lovely. Yeah. Oh, good. Proper unexpected. Right. Shall I go straight in for the cookie? Yeah. Yeah, it just looks like a normal, like, uh, oat raisin cookie. Here we go. This smells really like spice. Spicy. Like an oat and raisin cookie yeah. with a pumpkin top. I'm going to try a bit first by itself and then I'm going to give it a little dip of room. Mm. Nice. Still quite subtle. Yeah. It's nice. It's nice, isn't it? There we go. Happy days. Starbucks coming through. <laughs> It's got to be done. It has got to be done. That's going to excel your experience. <laughs> there must be more. There are a lot of like... <laughs> there are a lot of like Halloween-y treats. Nothing pumpkin flavoured. Nothing other than that tiny chocolate that's, it, yeah. that's pumpkin shaped. So we're just gonna have to get one of them. Do you know what? I wish that these were pumpkin shaped because I would be well on board with a pumpkin flavoured or shaped crisp of any sort right now. There's nothing even in the bakery. We, we didn't really plan to come here to be fair. We kind of just thought on the off chance they might have stuff, but. Oh, oh no, it's gingerbread. I thought we were in. Okay, back to the drawing board. Let's get this little fella. Let's get it. Let's get out of here. So we've been absolutely done here. We've been shafted out at 150. 150? <laughs> and you know when you've already scanned it and you're at the self scanner, and we just kind of went, um, we'll just pay for it. 
Right, anyway, let's undress this sucker. 150 for a little... It better be made of, like, pumpkin gold or something. It's just milk chocolate. It's just milk chocolate. And do you know what? It's not even wholly just pumpkin-shaped. It's just got, like, a pumpkin... Yeah, look. Oh, it actually, actually comes off. Oh! Did you just drop our 150 chocolate? Yes. Put on the fridge. Don't worry, he dropped it when it was still in the wrapper. bitter about it now. We did say we wanted some sort of chocolate today and chocolate's like never put with pumpkin is it? Where are we going? Truth. We are going to the Hummingbird Bakery on our continued hunt. Oh I thought he was stood next to me. I'll just stop filming before we get run over. Spooky things in the window. Happy Halloween! Hi there. Uh, can we have one of the pumpkin cookie pies, please? You don't have anything else pumpkin at all, do you? No, not at the moment. No just worries. Out on the mini pies. Oh, no. Oh, really? Very limited to the mumps, everyone. Oh, I see. Yeah, what is that? We've never seen that before. Uh, it's a cross between a sponge cake and a cookie. Okay, great. And in the centre is marshmallow fluffy cream cheese frosting. Oh, that sounds yeah, good. Really lovely. Looking forward to that. Thank you so much. Thank Cheers. Thank you. Open up this whoopee. Whoopee. So I asked her, right? It's a combination of, of a cupcake and a cookie. So why is it a whoopee? I don't know. It should be a Cookie, mm. cookie, cupcake, a, cup of, a kapuki, kapuki, <gasps> kapuki. Hummingbird Bakery rename it a kapuki. So this is a pumpkin spiced whoopee, and there's buttercream. Is the buttercream flavoured or is it normal? It is flavoured, yes. Ooh. Are you right. going to bite into that? Bite into yeah, go on. You is that nice? Really? So really? Yeah. Oh, Mister, I don't like pumpkin. Yeah, Changing your tune now. Very nice. It's got like, it's got like cookie on the outside, but it's soft like a cupcake. Oh, it does look like a, almost like cookie dough. Mm. They're good. I thought this was going to be like a. Um, I think you're going to really like it. I thought it was going to be like a maca macaron, no. macaroon sort of thing, like a giant one. It's two things that you love: cookies and cake. Is it taste like cookie dough? It tastes no. It tastes like a cookie cake, like a whoopie. Like a kapuki. Yeah. Isn't it weird? Mm. So good though, right? We're on a really busy street in London, so everyone's looking at me whilst my me. And I'm getting really awkward. Yeah, you don't look it. <laughs> <laughs> this is my favourite thing today so far. Is it? Yeah. What have we decided to do, Matthew? Get another one. We're gonna go get another one. So we inhaled that and we are going. We're still just right outside the shop. We haven't got far. Last bite. Mm. We go again. We're gonna go get another one. <laughs> oh, there she is. She was like, did he not share it with you? <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna keep that one for later. Yeah, we're gonna save this one for later, but that is the best thing we've had So today. good, isn't it? Easy work, huh? Yeah. Guys, we have to go to America because there's nothing it's pumpkin. Very difficult to find pumpkin related stuff. It's a bit loud. It's loud enough.
Have you got anything pumpkin flavoured? Pumpkin flavoured Halloween. Oh wow! Perfect. Thank awesome. You. Thanks, man. They're gonna have to do. Is this the only pumpkin themed stuff you have uh, in here that you we, know? We're waiting for the delivery, but yeah. that's the only two right. Okay. So, uh, pop tarts and uh, Hershey's and candy corn. The Halloween delivery is a bit here because of the unprecedented time. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. It might have be been next week. Okay. Next week, yeah. Okay, cheers. Thank you. Right, cheers. Thanks so much, mate. Cheers. <laughs> Matt's lost his ticket. Oh, did you find it? Where was it? Oh, oh you sausage. Lucky, right? Right, okay, so I think the last you would have seen was us going around Selfridges. After the... What was it? After Hummingbird Bakery? After the Whoopie. Okay, so after the Whoopie, or what we've named it, the Kapuki, <laughs> we went to uh, Yo Sushi, because only a few of them are open now, so we had to go to the one in Selfridges. That's the second time in my life that I've gone to Selfridges and it is hella busy and hella fancy. Yeah, oh my is. goodness. Anyway. The pumpkin, the pumpkin katsu is banging. Yeah. So Although good. we have some comments on the size. Oh no, now I've lost my ticket. No, I got it. We're good. Drugs. <laughs> true. Right. You're true. We're through. We had the pumpkin curry from Yo Sushi. And it was so busy and loud in there, so we didn't really talk much, but hopefully we got a few clips that you guys saw. And then we had a proper wander around Selfridges and asked pretty much every stall, do you have anything made out of pumpkin or pumpkin themed or anything pumpkin? And we were amazed at how little there was compared to how much was there. They have everything there. So many chocolates, different snacks, crisps, treats, but, I just don't think it's popular in the UK. I really just don't think. If we're in America, I think it's quite well known that pumpkin spice is like a massive thing in America. Then we got. Ah! And then in Selfridges, we should better get on this train actually. Yeah, we should in a minute. We've got a minute. We've got a minute, okay. And then in Selfridges, we walked around this, the little bakery section and all but one pie had a label on it. And I said yeah. to Matt, oh, that looks quite like pumpkin, should we ask? Oh, I thought the train was leaving. All but one had a label on it, and I said, oh, that looks really like pumpkin. So we double checked, and he said, oh yeah, that one is pumpkin, it just doesn't have a label, so we got that. And across the road from Selfridges, there's an American sweet shop. I think we should get on, I'm scared we're gonna miss this right. train. So it's empty, yes. Yes, yeah, so we came out of Selfridges, and then went into an American sweet shop, and we thought there'd definitely be pumpkin in there, if not pumpkin pop tarts. Yeah, we thought they Nada. would have the is it frosted pumpkin pop tarts but they had like every other flavor except that one did find some reese's peanut butter cups and they're like pumpkin shaped or they're, they're, yeah. they're, they're pumpkin something we've just left king's cross and as a last stop in we checked in at hotel chocolat chocolat and they had pumpkin, pumpkin, mini pumpkin pies, like, like little sweet And they had things. little mini pumpkin pies, so we got them as well. So once we get home, we're going to settle in and then try the last few pumpkin snacks. See you when we get home. Bye. Made it. Right, okay guys, we are back home now. Um, it was getting a bit crazy in London. It was really busy. Um, so we bought some pumpkin snacks home with us. What should we try first? I think the pumpkin pie. Okay. This is a sort of, yeah, a personal pumpkin pie. What? Oh, I don't know if I'm gonna like this. Really? It smells well strong of spice. Ready? Cheers. Cheers. That is interesting. That tastes like what I assume. You know you get like pureed pumpkin in a tin that you can make your own tarts from. A fancy version of that. Yeah, that's not, that's not for me. Really? Yeah. You like that, yeah? Mm. King size Reese's peanut butter cups. And we have to get the white chocolate pumpkin one as well. Pumpkin shaped. How big are they? Oh. 
<laughs> they are not. Wait till you see this. Like, that is meant to be a pumpkin. Like, that's not even... That not... is false advertising. We've been catfished. Reese's. I have issues with that. Look at that. Mm. There's like a smiley face on there and everything. Where's the face on it? There's no face. There is no face on that whatsoever. Mm. Is it good? Mm. <laughs> it tastes good though. Does it taste any better because it's... Um... No. Deformed. Oh. Wow. Oh. This tastes exactly the same. It's just a peanut butter cup. Which we know it's meant to be. But we thought, you know, the the theatre of it would be worthwhile. It literally oh. says Reese's peanut butter pumpkins. And this says Reese's white pumpkins. Would you know that's a pumpkin? No, you think it's a blob. If you pick that up, you'd say... My peanut butter cup's melted. Yeah, it's, like, oh, it's a weird shape. Fuming. I want to see pumpkin faces. Setting ourselves up for disappointment. I want to see you open it first. <laughs> faces? What do you think about my face? I'm going to say blob. White blob. <laughs> it's like, why are you holding up a, a cloud? So like, look, I can't focus on your white blob because... And literally, there's no face there. Because it's not a pumpkin. Reese's, if you're watching this, we're not happy. It tastes I don't know if I've ever had a white one, you know, anyway. Yeah, you have. Have we? We did a video oh. with them. Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> Bit disappointing. Blobs. It's not our fault. we we'll just pause and I want to take a minute. So we've had a right old day. And something we haven't mentioned is that I actually felt like a bit of a pop star at one point today. Why? Because whilst we were sitting there enjoying our pumpkin spice latte in two different forms, frappuccino and regular, with the cookie, no other than Mr. Lewis Capaldi himself oh, yeah. was in Starbucks. I mean, we he, didn't bother him. We nah, did not bother him. He was just chilling him. with his mates. Just chilling. Um, I, I hate being the person to yeah. like, you know, Saturday morning, like give the guy a break, let him have his yeah. coffee. You know, yeah, we saw so Lewis, if you're watching, shout out, my guy. <laughs> I saw John Cena once, and I felt for him oh, so... What? You, you saw know, John after Cena? Tra after trapeze, with a Tasman. You saw John Cena? What, as in, you can't see me? <laughs> that's, that's quality. Yeah, so we saw him, and I could not tell you how many people were there at the table, like, yeah, taking the pictures. The a few people came over and asked for pictures and like from what we could see he was like super friendly and happy to take them but so many people were doing the old like take a picture of me take a picture of me and yeah. get him in the background and i thought oh no we don't want to do it's that a bit weird that anyway that brings us on to lewis capaldi was just sat there table over with his mates chilling with their coffees but you could just tell he was just living his life like yeah, not fast chilled guy very chilled pumpkin pie sweet kind of ganache thingy bobs yeah, look good. Look how cute they are. Cheers. Oh my god. What is that? It's so orange. I was not expecting that. Oh. And that is extremely strong. Holy moly. Look at that. That's the most orange thing I think we've had today. Yeah. That tastes like the icing on top of the donut we had first thing this morning. Yeah, it does. Do you not like it? No. <laughs> Do you? I'm not sure. I don't think I mind it. I'm not sure about that, I'll be honest with you. I think that those taste most similar to this, so I'm surprised you don't like them. Nah, that is a million times better. So, Get that you would have seen that we demolished this right outside Hummingbird Bakery and then went right back in to get the other one. And there were only two, so we had... I think yeah, we finished we them lucky. off for the day. It was quite busy where we were, and we weren't really, it was quite loud as well. And windy. So, and windy. And so cold. we thought we should enjoy it in all its glory and give it the moment it deserves. So good. It is exactly it's like a cuppy cup. Perfect. A cookie cupcake. It is. All right, cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my god. How do you make a kapuki? I have no idea. See, for me, I, my favourite cake is carrot cake. And this tastes very similar to that, I mm -hmm. think. 
Right, so I think we're going to call it there for the video, but before we do, we want to do one massive shout out for Vanessa Lynch. Vanessa, thank you so much for your support. Thank you for your messages. You messaged us on Instagram a few weeks ago now and asked for a shout out, which is just amazing for us. And we're so, so grateful for your support. Thank you. We'll be back next Saturday with a brand new video. Uh, so join us in if you can. Um, but for now, uh, we will say have a lovely week and we will see you then.